Welcome back. If you've been following along, you now understand just how powerful estrogen is and how things can go sideways when it gets out of balance. In part one, we broke down how estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone work together and how estrogen plays a vital role in everything from your reproductive cycle to your mood and metabolism. Then in part two, we explored estrogen dominance, when estrogen becomes too high or too strong compared to progesterone. We talked about how this can lead to weight gain, mood swings, fibroids, infertility, and even cancer. We also looked at hidden triggers like plastics, seed oils, and stress. But what if you've done all the right things, ditched the seed oils, swapped your skincare, and you're still struggling? That's where your gut comes in. This might just be the most important and most overlooked piece of your hormone puzzle. Over my 45 years in practice, I've seen one pattern again and again. When women restore gut health, their hormones often fall back into place naturally. So how does your gut impact your hormones? It all starts with the microbiome, the trillions of microbes living in your digestive tract. These organisms are essential for digestion, nutrient absorption, immune function, and yes, even hormone balance. But modern life damages that delicate balance. Things like antibiotics, pesticides, glyphosate, processed foods, and stress wipe out beneficial bacteria and allow harmful ones to take over. When that happens, the bad microbes start producing toxic compounds called endotoxins. These endotoxins don't just stay in your gut. They get absorbed into your bloodstream. And here's the kicker. Everything that gets absorbed from your gut travels first to your liver. Why does that matter? Because your liver is the organ responsible for detoxifying estrogen. Normally, your liver filters out excess estrogen so it can be broken down and removed from the body. But when it's overwhelmed by endotoxins and other waste products, it slows down. And when your liver can't process estrogen efficiently, that estrogen stays in circulation and starts to build up. That's how gut issues can directly contribute to estrogen dominance. So while it might seem like a hormone issue, what you're really dealing with is a gut-liver imbalance. The good news? You can turn this around. When you restore balance to your gut by supporting healthy microbes, reducing inflammation, and removing irritants, you ease the toxic load on your liver. And that gives your body the space it needs to do what it's designed to do. Regulate itself. The result? Estrogen levels start to normalize, and many hormone-related symptoms begin to resolve, often without the need for more medications or synthetic hormones. So now you know what many people don't. Your gut could be the key to getting your hormones back on track. If you're ready to fix your gut and take control of your health, download a free copy of my ebook, Regut, Fix Your Gut, Reclaim Your Health. You'll find the link in the description below. And please like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss more insights like this. Together, we can help you discover your gut connection. I'm Dr. Springer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.